Clone humans are on the horizon as a result of, the of our research on human embryos. There is a maniacal wish by scientists like those at the Harvard Stem Cell Institute to make embryonic stem cells that are an exact genomic match to a patient. The belief is that cells with an exact match to your tissues will work better if they are being used to make a needed organ or repair a damaged one. Now, it doesn't really matter whether the cells produced from this research will ever be useful for anything. Scientists want to continue the march of discovery and technology. Many hu human embryonic stem cell scientists are dreaming of this fantasy right now. The fantasy goes something like this. 2007, Dr. I derives the first cloned human embryo, which, to be exact, will be the first cloned human. This is the same holy grail of human developmental biology that the Korean scientist Wu Sok Hwang attempted to fabricate. The production of cloned human embryos is an in vitro technology step away from the gestation birth of cloned human babies. In our current regulation-free culture created by IVF and permissible destruction of human embryos for research, there is nothing but technology benchmarks standing in the way of this development. If you are feeling disquieted and beginning to wonder whether the person next to you has two or one genomic parent, you are experiencing Alvin Toffler's 1970 prediction of future shock. On this topic, we should all be feeling disoriented and worried. Somehow, though, we must pull ourselves out of the stun and act to slow down the racing scientists before human clones, embryonic or born, are among us, or as the donors warn, in us. In the final analysis, despite the many dangers that I can also anticipate, there may be honorable and valuable reasons for cloning ourselves, for moving the human species onto a different evolutionary course. What the donors reminds us is that the crucial moral challenge is not whether we should make clones. Instead, as in all things, it is how we shall think about them and how we shall treat them that matters most. Enjoy the reading of the donors.